Good morning. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little fun. Um, this is one of the things I'm really disappointed about is the end of the year is usually when we get to have a little fun. And so what we're going to do while we're waiting on instructions on what's going to be required of all of us is we're going to practice some dollar bill origami. So the one I'm starting with is this lovely bow tie here. It's really pretty fun to fold. And um, the reason I'm starting with this is because it does have a math lesson connected to it. So on the um, post here, you should see this video. You should also see a set of um, reproduced dollar bills that you can print and cut out so that you're not handling real money and possibly um, getting sick. And then um, you're also going to see the math note uh, from the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics that goes over some of the math involved behind this bow tie fold. All right, so with that said, we're going to just start on practicing the fold. Now be aware, all of this is completely optional. It is not a requirement for the course. It's just something fun. Um, I have these lovely fake dollar bills that I buy usually every year, and I just ordered them um, that I use. And if you're interested in some, you can stop by and see me and say hi when we get back to school. Um, this guy we're going to start with, and the ones you print out aren't going to have the back side, so you're going to lose some of that reference but it should be pretty close to the same idea. So what we're going to do is with George Washington here on the outside, um, you're going to fold this in half like this. So that's what the hamburger fold, right? Okay. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to fold it in half going this way. And if you line them up really well, mine is not perfect today. Um, it's going to make some really beautiful shapes. It's going to be very nice. Um, so you get creases in this. So this is what you're most interested in are the creases for this part because they're going to be guides for us for the rest of the fold. And so origami is a lot of folding and unfolding. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to unfold that part and then you're going to think like paper airplane. So we want to be using this folded edge here and you're going to fold just one little corner down like that. So again, kind of like think like you're making a paper airplane. We want a really good crease. This fold is not going to stay. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, mine is way off today. Let's see if I can straighten that up. There we go. It's a little better. So you're folding both sides down just like as if you were making a paper airplane. So again, like see the paper airplane shape. Wee, woohoo. All right. So once you get that done, get really good creases in these, and then you're going to open them up. Now, this part is the trickiest part, um, and I, I like doing it in a fun way. I'll show you the other way as soon as we do it the fun way. So what you're going to do is you're going to take just this top layer, and you're going to shift it across like this, and with that nice crease you have there, you should be able to press this down. Now, this is the part where I usually lose most students, so let me show you again. And the good news is, with this being a video, you can go ahead and pause it and then come back and look at it again. All right, so you're going to go to just the top layer. So just put your finger underneath this top layer of paper, and you want to push this side down, push this side back, and then really flatten this out, and it's going to make this lovely triangle at the top. Once you get it done on this side, you're going to flip it over to the other side, and you're going to press this side down as well, hold this side, and then we can see how uneven my folds are. Okay, and then flatten it out so that you get another little triangle here at the top. So you should have two little congruent triangles. And I like to refer to this as the mobile home. It's the house with legs. So it kind of has that house shape, but it's got legs, it can run around. All right, so let me show you the faster way to do this. So where we were just a minute ago as we were at this, what you can do is just lift this top layer up and then press in the center here, and it'll kind of fold inside, and you'll see that triangle we just created. Um, same thing on this side, and then just kind of close it down, and you'll get where we need to be next. So I'm going to go back to the mobile home for fun, and hopefully I'm not confusing you. I really enjoy this. I'm having a good time. So if you were at the mobile home, um, all you do is you take this top layer here and you flip it 
and then you turn the paper over and you take this top layer only here and flip it. And so now our mobile home is fixed. It's stationary. It can't walk anymore. All right, now we're almost done, honestly. So again, looking at layers of paper, you're going to take this top layer of paper and what you want to do is you see those little folds underneath, you want to fold it all the way back right to the edge of those. See how they're just barely peeking out? So you're going to fold it all the way up like that on this side, get a good crease. Okay, then you're going to turn the other way. And um, you could consider it folding it back, I guess. And you're going to fold this one as well. And so when you're done, it's going to look like a regular folded dollar bill, but it has a lovely little surprise here. You can see all those folded pieces inside. So we want nice creases there. Those are not going to go anywhere. Now we're going to get a series of four congruent triangles. And so these are the pretty shapes I talked about at the beginning. If you have folded it perfectly, if you got all your edges lined up and everything, um, what's going to happen? And so I am, let me kind of talk about what I'm doing a little more. I'm at the top here where all the little folded pieces are. And I'm going to fold just the top layer corner down to that center crease that we made. That's our guideline. And what you should see inside are one, two, three, four congruent triangles. If you're not getting the four congruent triangles, you folded something wrong before this, so you need to rewind and try again. So see the four triangles? They're really nice. All right, so then on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna fold that top layer down. And you're going to get another set of four congruent triangles. One, two, three, four. And mine aren't that congruent because uh, I messed up my folds. They're not exactly perfect. And now we have this nice little diamond shape here in the middle. So we want to flip this over. And we're going to fold it again. Just this top layer again, we're folding it down. on both sides and oh my yeah my folds are way off today and we're going to press that down and so you should get that triangular shape here and that triangular shape here now here's the best part of our date we're going to tie the bow so how you do that is you want to separate these two layers you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to press them on those diamond shapes and you're going to hold it there now if you're not using a real dollar bill this part is going to be a little tough because real dollar bills are almost like a cloth-like paper. Regular paper will rip, so you've got to be really gentle, and you're just going to gently pull, keeping your thumbs on those diamond shapes, and ta-da! There is your lovely bow tie. Now, the assignment I'm going to post is going to have the directions for folding this, the actual origami directions. Um, it's also going to have an answer key on the last page, so you can check your work as you work through it. Um, not real sure how I'm going to deal with it, if I'm going to give you extra credit or anything, but if you're interested, you could always um, submit your work through the Google Classroom where I post all the information, and I'd be happy to look at it. If you do have questions over any of the math, let me know, and I hope you thought that was a little bit of fun. I'm planning to do a few more patterns this week, and you could always text me with requests. I know quite a few dollar bill origami patterns, and if I don't know it, I might could try to find it. Have a great day. Keep your chins up. Stay safe.